Hello there and welcome to a trigonometry video which explores the cosine rule for sides. The cosine rule is based on the idea that each angle of a triangle is really closely related to its opposite side. As we can see here, the cosine rule for sides is used to find the third side when we are given two sides and the included angle. We'll see that that included angle is the angle that's in between the two sides that we are given. So for any triangle, ABC, A squared, that's one of the sides squared, equals B, B squared plus C squared minus two lots of BC times cos of angle A. So it's just that a really a special arrangement of sides and angles that's aimed at finding the length of one of the sides that we don't know yet. So to check out the parts here, we have two sides, C and B, and we are aiming, in the end, to find this the length of this side here. We do know this angle up here, we'll call that theta. So we're using two sides and the angle that's in between it for this. So our two sides, C and B there, are going to go into actually four spots into the formula. They're going to go in there, they're going to go in there and get squared, and they're going to multiply by two and with each other. And uh, also we're going to use the angle that's between the two sides and we're going to put that after a cos into this formula. So we'll write up the formula on the top line and underneath we're going to put all the numbers in from the question as best we can. Okay, if we're asked to find the length of side P in this example here, we've got two sides, 8 millimeters and 7 millimeters, and uh, the angle in between it, what we call the included angle, is 59 degrees. So we'll put all those uh, numbers into the formula, or just underneath the formula anyway. The two sides, our 8 millimetres and our 7 millimetres, will go in all those spots where the arrows are pointing. And our angle, 59 degrees, will go after the cos, so we'll just place them in the right spots here. Now we are after P squared, not A squared. A sort of um, kind of represents the uh, missing side that we're trying to find here. So P is the letter for the missing side in this particular case, so it's going to go out the front. Now B and C, they're the two uh, sides that we have. It doesn't really matter what order we put them in. Uh, this side and this side are in similar positions here. They're being added and they're being multiplied. And as we know from our previous number work, adding things and multiplying things, the order doesn't really matter. There's only two items happening. So we're going to put 8 squared plus 7 squared. There are two sides. Uh, minus two lots of, there's invisible multiplies between the two and the b and the b and the c there, two lots of eight, lots of seven, another invisible multiply, and we're looking uh, at the angle, uh, which is the capital P, so we've changed that to a P there. So just put the numbers uh, in the spots where the, uh, where the, the respective sides were in the formula. Okay, so um, so that's the substitution of all the numbers from the question. You notice we've put two sides in here and here, and the same two sides in there and there, and the angle at the end there after the cos. So we're just substituting those numbers in. When we put them all into our calculator, we can press it all in at once. 8 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 lots of 8, lots of 7, lots of cos, 59 degrees, and press a big equals at the end. So we needn't fear that we're getting that out of order. Notice I've put uh, the multiplies in here and here and here just to help the calculator out and uh, to do the right thing there. So if we press all that in, We'll get P squared, which was out the front on the left hand side, equals 55 point, various things, 55.31, etc. Now, that seems a little bit too big for this question, so we'll have to make sure at some stage, because the formula here for the cosine first sides started off with an A squared, at some stage in the question, usually just before the end, we'll have to square root to get the actual length of the side that we're looking for. So we have p squared, but we don't have p itself yet. So if the number you get is uh, seems too big for the triangle, I mean we had 7 millimeters and 8 millimeters, and suddenly we're looking to have 55 of them, that's a little bit too big for this question. So we're going to make sure we remember to square root 
our answer. So if we get 55.31 etc in our calculator, before we clear that calculator we'll press square root answer equals and that'll process that and square root it for us giving us the actual distance the actual length of p 7.4 millimeters now you'll notice 7.4 millimeters is much more like the other two sides it doesn't have to be really close to the other two sides but it can't be massive um, compared to the other two sides so we use that uh, as a little reminder to make sure we remember to square root at some stage if you get an answer that's too big you've probably forgotten to square root so, just to recap, the cosine rule is based on that whole, whole idea of triangles that um, each angle is closely related to its opposite side and it's used to find uh, the third side when we're given two sides and the included angle. For any triangle there's the cosine rule for sides a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a and you'll remember that uh, our sides go into the formula there and our angle must be between the two sides. That's the only way this cosine rule will work properly. That angle has to be what we call the included angle, the angle that's between the two sides that we're using. And if your answer seems too big, just to recap, um, then you've probably forgotten to square root your answer. We want A in the end, or P in, as in the example. A squared is in the formula. We'll need to square root at some stage just before the end. And that's... Uh, cosine rule for sides and we'll see you next time for some more videos at any stage you can check out the videos on peterblakemaths.com for some more help there see you next time for cosine rule for angles